Hello everyone, it's I, Kaka99, and today is all about the black-headed python. We'll walk you back to our top planet. Alright, the black-headed python, python. This is a very large python species. Basically, it happened in Australia, basically northern Australia, central Queensland, and western Australia. Basically, it happened in woodlands as well as grasslands. Now, Black-headed pythons can get rather big. They can go up to around 6 to 10 feet long. It's a very big python. They can be a little bit of a heavy body snake, but they are very kind of like on the thick side, also on the slender side, helps them maneuver through their environment a lot faster. And also get basically hide in any kind of crevice that they feel if see fit. Now black-headed pythons do get their name because that obvious black head basically going from the head to the basically to, to the neck. But they also have a kind of like a uh, cream to red, almost kind of like a brown coloration with basically dark bands going down from down the length of the body. And like I said, they are like they say the black hair which basically gives them their name. And because of this, that because when they are hiding, it basically like in, say like in a tree trunk and it's very dark, you can't really see that. That black hair helps them camouflage themselves, basically in that dark area. That way, it's not really that easy, this easy to see. So. Black-headed pythons are nocturnal, so they will be prowling for their prey late at night. Now, basically the primary target will be basically new reptiles, birds, as well as mammals. So, like anime pythons, they basically wait for their prey to come to them. And basically what they do is they'll lie in wait, and then when prey gets nearby, they will strike out and, and basically coil around them, basically asphyxiating their prey, or basically like strangling it. Basically, to um, be stuff the prey, that would be able to swallow it down a lot, a lot easier at first. So that is basically the hunting method for many python species. Now, females can go to, can basically have up to around close to about 10 eggs in total. So not too many eggs for a breeding female, but it's basically good enough. But on the sad part, for many snake species, like 1% of snakes do want to make it to a dog. The black and the five dogs are well known in the native ranges as well as in many cap captive a areas where you see them in zoos. Basically, many people having them as pets and something like that. For um, for pet wise, black headed pythons can get rather big, and they are basically pronounced feeders, so you do have to be very careful. So, like I said, do a lot of research. But for beginners, I would not suggest getting a black headed python for your first pet. Try, I would suggest a ball python instead. <laughs> but yeah, black, black headed pythons can get rather big. They can get mm, a little like, mildly squirrely, but at the same time, they are very fixated on food, so they have a, definitely have a good food response. At the same time, they can be really, you know. Kind of like easy, kind of like easy to deal with. So, if you do plan on getting one as a pet, I would definitely advise on therefore more advanced people, advanced owners rather than beginners. That is, that's basically the um, soul, the soul thing. But yeah, they're very neat snake species. Basically, nice coloration, <coughs> very unique pattern to them, and they do have basically a nice little like push over the environment, keep them, make the environment stable, and a population of the control. Alright, so that is the black headed python. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my content. And I will see you guys next time. See ya. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my content. Follow me on social media. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.